Hey folks, today we show you great places to eat in Calistoga, which is in the north end of Napa Valley. We visit a 13th century inspired Tuscan Castle winery. We witness the eruption of Old Faithful California. We go to Safari West, a 400 acre private wildlife preserve. Calistoga has great things to do, but it's known as a spa haven. We visit Indian Springs Resort, which has a pool and mud baths with hot water supplied by on-site geysers. Our first stop is Buster's Barbecue, where they have live jazz and blues on Sunday afternoons. Okay, oh, that looks tender. That's brisket. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're going to the Buster's. You come to Buster's for the meat. We tried the tri-tip, the ribs, and the pulled pork. Even the not full-time meat eaters in our family enjoyed it. It comes with lots of buttered bread and sides. Castello di Amorosa is in some beautiful rolling hills. This medieval castle is classic Napa Valley. As you enter the property, they check to see whether you have a reservation. No reservation? No problem. You can stop at the lovely gatehouse to buy three bottles of wine to give you access to the property. The three bottle minimum can include their grape juice that only costs $14 a bottle. The castle is a labor of love that took 15 years to build. It's constructed with 8,000 tons of hand-squared stones, some imported from Italy and some produced locally. The drawbridge over the moat is one of the areas you can explore without a tour. After wine tasting, there's nothing like a cold beer downtown Calistoga at the Napa Valley Brewing Company, located in the historic Calistoga Inn. This place has some great outdoor seating right on the Napa River. Calmart Napa Valley is right in the center of downtown Calistoga. Perfect to pick up some picnic supplies for our next adventure. Old Faithful Geyser of California is at the north edge of Calistoga. Deep in the earth around Calistoga, molten magma heats up water to a boiling point. The boiling water shooting up through a tube-like structure is what the geyser is. The geyser blasts off about every 40 minutes to an hour and a half. Because it's not completely predictable, it's nice to have a picnic while you wait. On Lincoln, right off Washington, is San Marco Cafe. You might miss it if you blink, but it's a great place to pick up some ice cream or just dream about it. 20 minutes west of Calistoga, on Petrified Forest Road, is Safari West, a 400-acre private wildlife preserve. We went here to discover the wilds of Africa in the wine country. There's about a thousand different animals. My favorite is the giraffes. They have plenty of room to roam around, so they seem pretty at home. The two-hour open-air guided tour can accommodate youth groups as well as smaller groups. They offer an overnight glamping experience where you can go out on your deck in the morning and see the animals. Of course, they offer lunch and drinks, but they also have a barbecue reservation only at night. The gift shop's well stocked. It's fun to explore. Evangeline is a French bistro with Creole soul. I did make a reservation for dinner. 
There's a nice bar inside and fabulous outdoor seating. The Indian Springs property has been a geyser-fed spa since 1861. The resort's flagship amenity is the Olympic-size pool built in 1910. There's also an adult-only smaller pool. It's completely fed by geyser water and the temperature ranges from 92 degrees Fahrenheit to 101. Indian Springs Resort is a 17-acre oasis and the guests can be seen comfortably walking around in their white robes. The pools open till 10 o'clock at night, and it's a very special time to be there. Inside. We're uh, in the pool that is about a little less hot than the hot tub, and you can see the geyser in the back giving off steam. This is so nice. Now we go to the spa to learn about the mud bath process in volcanic ash and geyser water. You take a rinse from here, and then you get into the mud, I cover you up, you stay for about 10-15 minutes. After that you come, come out, take a shower in here, and then jump into the sun and to the um, hot tub right here. Uh, so like around 100 degrees hot tub. Uh, stay another 10-15 minutes in here. And after that, you're going back to the hallway. Then we got little rooms in there where you lay down just to cool off a little bit for another 10 minutes. Okay. A few cucumbers in your eyes, and that's it. Yeah. It takes an hour. It takes an hour to hold. What's What's the story with the mud itself? Well, it's, it's, it's volcanic ash. Ah. So we we dig it around the, the geysers, and then we sift it, and then we mix it with the same geyser water. Oh, okay. And then it makes a very unique mud. It's not like regular mud. It's, it's, it's heavy, but it's, it's different texture. You, you check it out. You okay. See. Yeah, it's, it's hot. It's hot. It's around 100 degrees as well. Oh, okay. So it's going to be very relaxing. Oh, this is, yeah. yeah, this is a hot experience. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is about heating here, you know? Uh -huh. And then after, after that, you feel very, very, very good. I promise you that. After the treatment, you can relax and take some good breaths in the Buddha Pond meditation area. It's got gardens, a fireplace, and some replenishing liquids. Sam's Social Club is the resort's restaurant, but it's also open to the public. Reservations are recommended. Outdoor seating area is great. At the time we visited, the interior was being remodeled. I rate this place a foodie experience. Starting off at the Mad Mod Shop, we do a little shopping in downtown Calistoga to work up our appetite for sushi at Mambo's. Next, we discover Sugar Daddy's consignment store. If you look at the price tag and then look at the dates, the price drops according to the dates. Now it's on to Sushi Mambo, which is right across the street from the Indian Springs Resort. Hey folks, have fun. Be kind to what the universe brings into your life, and we'll see you later.